I was born in Fresno, but moved here when I was three. Went to local schools, Bakersfield College, Fresno State. So I've spent all, most of my life here, other than when I was away at school. I became a doctor because I was influenced by several men that played tennis at the place I played tennis at when I was a kid. Um, they were a heart surgeon and an obstetrician and spent some time with me uh, talking about their career. Went to medical school at the University of Kansas and um, did my surgery training in Fresno. But my family is all here, my brothers and sisters, both of my parents. So that was the initial draw for me to return to Bakersfield. From a very early time in my surgical career, I was treating veins. Um, in 2001, when the uh, radio frequency and laser catheters were FDA approved, I went to a meeting to learn to do that procedure. And at that meeting, I met doctors that all they did was treat venous disease. And six months after I learned to do that procedure, I felt there was a need here in Bakersfield for someone to focus on varicose veins. So I opened my own vein clinic in July of 2002. As a general surgeon, um, I had to learn all the venous anatomy and, and the surgical techniques to treat varicose veins, um, which helps now that uh, I, I have a better picture and an understanding of the anatomy that I'm treating than would someone who didn't have a surgical background. There are several reasons to choose South Valley Vein Center. Uh, I was the first one to do catheter ablations in Kern County. Um, when people were switching to become varicose vein doctors, I was very early in that transition. Um, since 2002, I've focused on nothing other than vein treatment. One of the things that I try very hard to do is to choose patients that I can help Sometimes people have varicose veins and leg pain and the leg pain isn't or doesn't sound like it's from varicose veins and I may discourage them from vein treatment if I don't think it's going to help. Um, there are very small risks with catheter ablation but there are risks nonetheless and if I don't think I can improve the quality of your life, I don't think it's worth putting a patient at any risk whatsoever.